This Python hacker rank challenge is called list comprehension. So it's a bit um, messed up. If you look at the instructions, it says we need to grab three integers, which are X, Y, and Z. You see these variables here. So we are grabbing some inputs as integers for X, Y, and Z respectively. And then we need to print a list of all possible coordinates given by I, J, and K, uh, where the sum of I plus J plus K is not equal to N. So um, the name of the variables are not very straightforward. What they mean basically is when you get X, Y, and Z here as inputs, you need to print all the possible combinations of X, Y, and Z together, where the sum of X, Y, and Z is not equal to N. So for example, if X is one, Y is one, and Z is one, and the value of N is two, we need to print all the possible combinations of X, Y, and Z, where the sum is not equal to two. So the outputs could look something like this. We have zero, zero, and zero. And this tells you that we don't actually need to print X, Y, and Z. It's more like the range from zero all the way to X, but X is um, inclusive. Same thing for Y, you print all the possible combinations from zero all the way to Y, including the value of Y itself. And from zero all the way to Z, including the value of Z itself. We need to print these combinations where the sum of X, Y, and Z is not equal to N. So back to my example here, if X is one, Y is one, Z is one, and N is two, then one combination within these ranges would be zero, zero, and zero for X, Y, and Z, zero, zero, and one. And here X is zero, Y is one, and Z is zero, and so on. If you look at this here, we never have the digits one appearing twice in a collection. So for example, X and Z cannot both be one at the same time, because otherwise when you sum up X, Y, and Z, you're gonna get two. And two here is the value of N, which we are not allowed to have in our combinations. So we can only have all zeros, all ones, or Z here is one, but the rest is zero. Y here is one, but the rest is zero. And here X is one, but the rest is zero. So I hope you get an idea of how this um, coding challenge works. If you don't just look through the instructions, I'm going to paste my solution here. And that's what we have. So L here is pretty much the output for my solution. And for this challenge, we're using something called list comprehension. So we're not going to have a bunch of classic for loops or while loops or anything. Instead, we're using something in Python known as list comprehensions. Here I'm saying I want to have a group of three integers and I want a collection of such groups. So in other words, this L here is going to be an array where each element inside of that array is a group of three integers. I'm calling them X1, Y1, and Z1. So here I'm saying, give me a combination of three integers where X1, X1 right here, is a value within the range of zero and X. I'm doing X plus one here because in Python, the range function does not include the, the end value. It's up until the end, but excluding the end. So if I want to include the value at the end, which is the exact value of X, I need to do X plus one. Within the range of zero to X, the inclusive range, I want to grab that value. And I also want to grab the value of Y1 from the range zero all the way to Y and also the value of Z1 from the range of zero all the way to Z, where the sum of X1, Y1, and Z1 here is not equal to N. So that in code is what you saw illustrated right here in the sample inputs and the sample outputs. Hopefully this makes sense to you. You can also read more about list comprehensions, but for now, let's just run this code and you can see that we've passed the um, the sample test case. So this is test case zero, and this is our outputs, all the possible combinations from zero all the way to the value of X or Y or Z, where the sum of X, Y, and Z is not equal to the value of N, which is two. 
So now let's submit this code. We have about 10 test cases in all, and we've passed all of them. So that's it for the Python hacker rank challenge called list comprehensions. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.